Hey, Plotter Pals! My name is Stacy Anderson, sci-fi author and one of the trainers here at Plotter. Today, I'm excited to share with you another great update to Plotter that includes some streamlined changes to the dashboard, introduces offline mode for Plotter Pro, and some improvements to the navigation throughout the system. I know you're going to enjoy it, so without further ado, let's dive in! In the top right corner of the software, you'll see a new button for Dashboard. This will bring you to our new updated dashboard. Now you can access your account information, files, backups, settings, and help in one place. From the Files tab, you can open or create new files, access your account information from the Account section, access your stored backups. Under Settings, you can configure your settings, and the Help tab will help you navigate our help and support resources and search our documentation. Back in Settings, under the Dashboard section, you can choose what you'll see when you first open Plotter. With this turned on, the program will open to the standalone dashboard that you can use to launch your projects. Another new feature in the update is that the button in the top right corner previously labeled Settings, is now called Structure. When you open it, you can change the default name for the chapter headings, the text color, text size, border color, border style, and background color for the chapter headings. As a reminder, when you go into the dashboard, under Settings and Beta, we have the Act Structure. If you turn on this setting, and return to the Structure button, you can create a hierarchical heading structure. For example, you can create acts, chapters, and scenes as headings to organize the structure of your narrative. The next feature I want to show you is Offline Mode. Back in the Dashboard, under the Settings tab and the Beta heading, for those on Plotter Pro, we have a new option for offline mode, so you can continue working even without an internet connection. In order for offline mode to work, you must first open the plotter file while you have an internet connection, and then you can work in offline mode. So right now I have the three little pigs file open. If I turn on offline mode and disconnect my internet, you'll see a red banner along the bottom that tells me I'm offline. Now I can go and make changes by adding new scenes. Whenever I get to a place where I can connect to the internet again, it will then automatically save any changes once the internet is restored. If, however, there has been changes made either on another device or by a collaborator, it will make a copy of the file so you can decide how to integrate the two. This release also contains additional features and fixes, which you can read about in the release notes. So what's your favorite feature? Let us know in the comments below and happy plotting.